Hey, my name is Ben Salstrom, and today I'm going to show you how to tether the iPhone 5 without jailbreaking it. Uh, and a little bit of background on the, the reason I figured this out was uh, recently my wife upgraded to the 5 from the iPhone 4, and when we did that, we didn't realize there wasn't a jailbreak for the latest version of iOS. Normally, we jailbreak and use MyY to tether because it's really nice because you can have an actual hotspot. So what I'm going to show you today is a secret feature that is in, built into the app that is currently in Apple's App Store called iRinger. And uh, the way iRinger works is it uses you actually have to create an ad hoc network on your computer and then you connect your phone to that and then there's really specific instructions inside of the app uh, but like I said it's a secret feature and I'm going to show you how to use it and uh, yeah so without further ado let's look at the app so here we are on the home screen of the iPhone 5 and I'm going to pan around it like this so you can see that I am indeed using an iPhone 5 this is what all the other YouTubers do. They kind of pan it around like this so that uh, I guess the skeptics can be proved or be shown that it is indeed the device being talked about. Okay, so we're going to go into the settings here. Make sure that we're good and focused. Go into the settings here. And if we go to General About, we can see right down here that the version I'm on is 6.1.4 and I am on Verizon's network. So, and there's not a jailbreak currently available for 6.1.4, which is the reason I'm using i iRinger in the first place because if there was a jailbreak available, that is so much better because you can use you can have an actual Wi-Fi hotspot, which is a lot easier to use than um creating the ad hoc network. So, I'm going to show you here. Uh, we're going to go to the App Store just to show that this app is currently available as of June 9th, 2013. And we're going to search for iRinger. I-R-I-G-E-R. -E and just hit search. <clears throat> and there it is in the App Store. And as you can see, I have already installed it, which is why the open button is showing right there. It is a two dollar application which is well worth it if you want to tether your iPhone and for us it is super valuable to be able to tether because we live way out in the country and don't have access to any internet really other than our smartphones so we use our phones on Verizon's old grandfathered unlimited data plans in order to basically as our home internet so tethering is a really valuable feature for us I'm guessing there's other people out there that are in the same boat. So I'm going to go home here and there's iRinger already installed. We're going to click on it and here is the events page and we just click the plus button up here in order to create an event and I guess you could use it as an actual calendar too but this is the cool part. So if you type in T-E-T-H-E-R-I-N-G one two three so tethering one two three and hit done there we go it went right into the secret hidden feature and you can see that we have some settings here for either using it with Sox proxy or HTTP proxy and uh, we have had our best luck with the Sox proxy so far using it with my wife's Mac so over here we have instructions in how to set everything up and uh, if you follow these steps exactly uh, it it has worked pretty much every time for us. It can be a little finicky and the app sometimes crashes, but if you uh, keep working with it and if you stick to the instructions exactly, um, it will work for you and it has worked for us. So um, he is saying that, uh, the developer is saying, and he must be French because um, these screenshots are for French, but the direct the steps are in English, so that's good. Um, he said that there is an, supposed to be an update coming that is going to fix some of the known crashiness of the app. So hopefully he gets that pushed out before Apple pulls this app from the App Store because it is a violation of Apple's 
terms of service to have a tethering feature inside of an app. So I would grab this app while you can and get it downloaded because once you purchase it, it is yours to keep. So do that and then you can have tethering on iOS 6 or the iPhone 5 if you've already upgraded to the latest version of iOS and you need to and you'd like to have tethering this is pretty much your best shot at getting it for now until they come up with a new jailbreak for likely iOS 7 because they are saving all of the exploits for that they are finding uh, so that when they do create a jailbreak it's on a bigger version of iOS alright so I hope all of that made sense to you uh, the one thing I forgot to mention while we were looking at the close-up of the phone uh, was that when you have iRinger open and you are doing your tethering and right now we're on the tethering page as you can see here the thing you have to remember is that the phone has to be on and the screen has to be on on this very page in order for your tether to continue to work with your computer as soon as you press or with your computer or whatever device you use uh, when you press the home button your internet will stop working, your tether will stop working on your computer. So that's something to keep in mind when you're using the app. You can go into the settings and change it so that your phone doesn't go to sleep, which will uh, help a lot so that it doesn't keep locking. If the phone locks itself, then your internet will die as well. So you want to turn off the auto lock and plug your phone in probably since the screen will have to be active. I guess you could turn the brightness down too if you needed to save on battery. So that is how you use iRinger. If this video helped you, please uh, rate it up. And if you want, you can subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.